and this is the interlock fabric we are going to describe about uh, the interlock fabric and this is a double dorsi fabric knitting in a interlock circle knitting machine uh, the fabric is a balanced fabric because there is no curling tendency it stays flat we have to identify the fabric first for identification we have to first identify the face side and the back side of the fabric there is no technical differences between these two sides so every side we can say this is face side so we have to draw the notation by considering that this side is face and the upper loops are face loops and the rear side contains the back loops so we can start the unraveling of fabric these two fingers i can use as the clip and these two fingers i can use another clip so that the fabric can be gripped very tightly for identification we have to color two column of loops so that we can easily identify the loops i will color the next one also so two oils are colored here so that you can understand which loops are present in this tree two wells it is very much clear now that there are two horizontal row of loops per quartz and these loops are arranged in face to face manner and for this face to face manner position of loops you generally know the fabric is interlock fabric these are the loops these are the loops back loops and this is face loop back loop and this one is face loop these loops are placed face to face just opposite to each other this is our first course we have to see what loops are present in the colored area so this time the first colored well the back loops are coming out and then face loop again back loop and face loop back loop face loop back loop face loop back loop face loop so first course is unraveled this is the point paper taking two row i will draw a single course and another course will contain two row and third fourth we have colored the wells so this is the starting mark starting mark of loop identification starting mark as we saw the first colored well contain back loop so we can start from here back face back face back face back face the important thing that this needle are arranged face to face position these are the position of needles in the knitting machine and these are the face loops and these are the back loops face loops are made from cylinder needle and back loops are made from dial needles now we can unravel the second course the loop in the colored area face back face back now this one is face loop and second one is back loop again face loop back loop face loop back loop face loop back loop so for this course i have got the face loop so i can draw from here face loop back loop face loop back loop face loop back loop again these are the face and these are the back loops again for the third course we have to see very carefully 
system back loop and again this loop so the first one again we can draw from back loop face back face back back face and the next course come back and then face face and then back have and trace back face back so in the colored first one i have got face loop so we can draw from face loop so we got the repeat also we can figure out the repeat now the first course is start from the back loop and face second one is started from face loop and then back loop again third one is similar as one fourth one is similar as two so we can say that the repeat is only two courses and two words so this is the repeat this is the repeat and repeat contains repeat of two course and two wells course number 1 course number 2 from this diagrammatic notation we can uh, learn about the needle arrangement and cam arrangement if there is two courses per repeat and two wells per repeat uh, so we can take the decision that the structure will need two feeder for per repeat and two track cam system will be required two track cam system so number of courses equal to the number of feeder per repeat and number of wells denotes the number of cam tank system so two wells means two track cam system will be required for this interlock fabric so we can figure out needle arrangement and cam arrangement also for this we can take this paper to show you the cam arrangement and needle arrangement from this structure if this is a cylinder of an interlock circulating machine these are the needle track this is dial so these are the dial track where the needles will be placed track are aligned in face to face manner as i have shown you that these are the needle position face to face position and two track cam system will be required that means the needle will be the needle will be of two butt position butt position 1 and butt position 2 1 and 2 these are the less needle so butt position 1 and butt position 2 so cylinder contain the needle 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 at the same time dial needle will be contained these are the dial needles these are the lead so in case of dial needle this will be number of the second number of in case of dial needle this needle will be second butt position needle and this needle will be first position of needle first butt position needle if there is the first needle butt position so there will be two there is two so there will be one opposite two so there will be one there will be two One, two, one. So this is the very simple expression. The, if these are the cylinder, cylinder needles, these are the dial needles. So one, two, one, two, one, two. This will be two, one, two, one, two, one. This is the needle arrangement of interlock circulating machine. So I mentioned earlier, but not written. This is dial. 
this cylinder now the important part is cam arrangement i'll show you the cam arrangement feeder 1 feeder 2 feeder 3 feeder 4 these are the cylinder cam system cylinder cam system and these are dial cam system i have mentioned earlier that two track cam system will be required for this design so cylinder cam system is of two track cam system this is the track one track two track first track second track this on first track and then second opposite first track is narrow from the feeder in case of cam arrangement uh, we have to start from this position this is for course number one course number one and this is for course number two the first course was starting from back loop and the second course starting from the face loop so in case of course number one two 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 all are two the second but position needle are used for this course course construction in case of course number two only the first butt position needles are used for knitting and course number one only second butt position needles are used for knitting so we can uh, easily figure out the cam track system in case of course number one we have two course number one will be needed from feeder number one so in case of first course second butt position needle are active second butt position needle are active so this position is second butt position this position first butt, butt position so these are active this will be need cam and this will be need cam and first butt position needles are inactive here so no loop is formed in the first butt position needles so we can right here m m for missed cam m for missed cams k for need cams in case of second feeder only first butt position needles are used for knitting so first butt position for cylinder these are the uh, cylinder needles one 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 so we can easily right here k for cylinder and for dial we can write here k for dial needles so this will be m feeder number three will be same as feeder number one so k k m m k k m m interlock structure or interlock repeat this is the interlock repeat so interlock repeat is the combination of two opposite drift courses so this is a course like as the rib structure and this course is opposite to these courses as it is started from face loop it is started from back loop by combining two courses this time loops are face to face 